When you get your new Shruti box, it's a good idea to see if it's in tune with the rest of the world. So grab your electronic tuner and take a reading. Now this one looks perfectly in tune. Let's check the other one. This one appears to be about 20 cents sharp. If you notice that your shooty box isn't in tune, you can check the rest of the notes to see if they're all out of tune. Most of the shooty boxes I've tested have been consistently all out of tune or all in tune. So if your shooty box is out of tune with the world but in tune with itself, that's not a big deal if you're just going to use the instrument to accompany yourself for singing. But if you want to play with other instruments, you're going to need to make some adjustments so that you're all in tune. For this instrument, I've started a little note indicating that the C was about 20 cents sharp. Now I'm checking the rest of the notes to see if they're consistently 20 cents sharp, which they do appear to be. You've got a couple options to deal with an out-of-tune Trudy box. If you're going to play with a stringed instrument like a guitar or a reverie harp, it's pretty easy for that instrument to just tune to the Trudy box. And I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to go about that. But if you're going to be playing with an instrument like a Rav Vast or some other fixed note instrument that can't change its tuning, you're going to actually have to tune the Shruti box. And I'll show you how to do that as well. A quick and simple way to tune other instruments to the Shruti box is to use the calibration feature on an electronic tuner. What this does is calibrates the note A440 up or down, and you can adjust it to match your instrument. Because this instrument is sharp, I'm going to press the up arrow on the tuner, and you can see that as I do that, it looks like the instrument is now in tune. But all I've done is adjust the tuner, and you can see now that it says A equals 445. And as I go and check the other notes, they all now appear to be in tune. Once you understand that your Shruti box is tuned to A445, it's easy to use the same feature to tune other instruments. So I'm going to tune this Reverie Harp to play along with the Shruti box by setting A to 445 before I tune the Reverie Harp. Now I'll just use my tuner as normal and continue tuning the Reverie Harp until it's all tuned to A445. If you want to play along with other instruments that aren't able to retune, like a Rav Vast or a piano, and you're not afraid to get your hands a little dirty, you can actually tune the Shruti box. Before we tune the reeds on the Shruti box, we want to go through and take careful notes about each reed and how sharp or flat it is. Most Shruti boxes are consistently sharp or flat, um, but you want to double check to make sure. The first thing to do to tune your Shruti box is to remove the reed plate. You'll find that the reed plate is held in place by several screws. Grab your screwdriver and remove all the screws and set them aside. Once all the screws are removed, you should be able to lift up the reed plate. It may be slightly stuck. It's not glued on, so just gently take a flathead screwdriver and give it a little boost, and you should be able to pull that right up. Remove the reed plate and flip it over and set it back in place, and you'll see all of the reeds for the notes. 
you'll notice the reeds are in the same layout as the keys on the front. This is helpful to keep track of which notes you're tuning. The way you tune the reeds on the shooty box is by scraping material off of the reed. And depending on where you scrape the reed, you will either raise or lower the pitch. You can use a few different tools to scrape material out the reed, like this needle file, or you could use a nail, or you could use a pocket knife, or even a box cutter. Anything sharp and metal will do the job. Looking closely at the reeds, you'll see that they're all fixed at one end, and they're free at the other end, and that's how they vibrate. Now the key to changing the pitch is where you file on the reed. If you file close to where the reed is fixed, you'll lower the pitch of the note. If you file at the free vibrating end of the reed, you'll raise the pitch of the note. Remember this instrument is about 20 cents sharp, so we need to lower the pitch of these reeds. So we'll be doing all of our scraping near the fixed end. Insert a playing card underneath the reed to help support it while you file and to keep any of your filings from getting caught between the reed and the plate. That can cause a buzzing later on. So again, we need to lower the pitch so we'll be filing near the fixed end of the reed as you can see I'm doing here. Simply slide the card underneath the reed and give it a few scrapes. All of the notes on my Shruti box were about 20 cents sharp so I'm going to just give it about 15 scrapes on each reed and then I'll reinstall the reed plate and take another tuner reading and see where we're at. To check the tuning of the reeds again, you'll need to reinstall the reed plate, although you don't need to install all the screws. Uh, four screws, one in each corner, will hold it in place enough to check the tuning. Using my electronic tuner, I'm going to check the tuning of each note again and see if I've brought it into tune. Um, most likely you won't have done that, and in this case, I see that I've brought the notes down in pitch by about 10 cents, but I have another 10 cents to go, so I'm going to note the tuning of every reed and then I'll open the reed plate back up and do a little bit more filing. I still need to lower the pitch, so again I'll support the reed with this playing card and file a little bit more near the fixed end of the reed to lower the pitch. You may have to go through this process a few times until you get the pitch dialed in. Just take careful notes about each read as you're checking the tuning and make adjustments as necessary. Eventually you'll have some reads that are perfectly in tune and you want to avoid doing any more filing on those reads when you're tuning the remaining reads. <laughs>